Welcome to Board Matters. I'm your school board president, Ana Cruz. It's hard to believe that half a year has gone by already, and in that period of time, we as a district have experienced many successes. From the completion of major undertakings, such as the approval of both the curriculum and efficient audit, to time approval of the district's reimagined 2021 strategic plan, there has been plenty of work done by our district leaders, trustees, district staff, parents, community, and students. We have conducted surveys designed to improve our district, and we thank each and every one of you for your contributions, your feedback, and your thoughts. We want you to know that we value your opinions and are grateful that you took time to participate in our surveys. We continue making progress daily and rely on each other both as a district and as a community to make great strides as we attempt to reach our goals as we prepare to embark on the second half of the 2016-2017 school year. There has been a tremendous amount of work involved and we understand that it has been a total team effort Otherwise, as a district, we could not have accomplished as much in such a short period of time. As we close out the first half of the school year, we look forward to the beginning of a new year, and in doing so, we are as equally excited about the opportunities that the new year brings. Speaking of a new year, January marks School Board Recognition Month. At this time, I would like to take a few minutes to extend a special thanks to my fellow board members for their service, commitment, and dedication to their position on the school board. As trustees, we've been faced with tough decisions throughout the past few months. We have discussed, deliberated, and taken action on important and delicate issues. One of these items that the board approved deals with bereavement leave. Losing a loved one due to death poses many emotional and financial strains on a family, and we understand that our employees need to take time to grieve and tend to family members any time there is a death involved. With this in mind, we revisited the policy and have updated it to allow employees to take their three days of bereavement leave. In working together with our superintendent of schools, Dr. Adrian Vega, and with my fellow trustees, as a team of eight, we have made the best informed decisions possible based on recommendations made by our superintendent who is about to complete his first year with us. Congratulations, Dr. Vega. As we close the end of the first semester, we want to inform our community that as a district, we look forward to working with everyone in order to accomplish even the most challenging tasks we trust that by working together, we will keep making progress in the months ahead. To our school district employees, it's important for you to know that there is currently a salary study being conducted by the Texas Association of School Boards in collaboration with our district's Human Resources Department. The outcome of this study will help us determine and provide a guide for the proper compensation for our hardworking staff members. We will keep you posted as more information becomes available in the near future. The work on the district strategic plan continues with the award-winning communication team making their presentation at the December board meeting. We will soon introduce a new website and the district has its sights on enhancing the district's image. A complete copy of this portion of the plan is located on the district's website. Also, the department conducted a communication public relations perception survey about the district. The results of that survey are available upon request. Also, this last board meeting, Dr. Vega presented some promising news related to our district fund balance, which continues to make steady gains he also presented highlights about the district's overall financial state. In January, the auditors will be presenting a comprehensive report and we will have a better idea of where we stand financially and learn whether there are areas that we need to work on in relations to finances. In closing, it's important to let you know that we stand committed to doing the, the absolute best for our district. We appreciate our loyal and dedicated employees. 
our students, and our parents. By working together towards common goals, we can make this district the best district ever. On behalf of my fellow trustees and myself, I would like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Remember, we are successful because of you, and we cannot thank you enough for being that part of our success. And we remain hopeful that as a district, we will have better days ahead in 2017. That's it for this edition of Board Matters. Thanks for joining us today.